click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the weak field ligand as well as strong field ligand and now in this topic I'm going to talk about the inner orbital complex and outer orbital complex. So what are these two terms? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, now first of all let me talk about the inner orbital complex that is when complex form involve the inner n-1 d orbitals for hybridization that is d2 sp3 the complex is called as inner orbital complex and they are also known as ls complex which is low spin complex so based on that let me give you an example so that you could understand this inner orbital complex in a very easy way so friends, this is the example that is I'm going to talk about. So here basically I'm talking about that is cobalt complex. So this is what we have discussed earlier also. But suppose if the cobalt undergoes through an oxidation number of 3 plus and suppose in that case that is the oxalato ligands are surrounding the cobalt metal. But we also understand that is the oxalato is a strong field ligand and that's the reason that we could also call it as that is spin pairing. And in that case the hybridization that is what we could get is D2 sp3 so therefore it involves the inner that is n minus 1 d orbital and that's the reason it is an example of that is the inner orbital complex so let me explain to you with the help of the energy diagram also so therefore we could understand that is what are inner orbital complex or what are low spin complex so friends this is the energy diagram and suppose if we are talking about that is cobalt 3 plus ions and suppose if it splits into the two energy level that is eg and t2g so in that case we understood that is we are talking about strong field ligands so whenever a strong field ligand is basically associated with the metal ion so in that case there will be a spin pairing and here basically you can see there is pairing of electrons and that also at lower energy level and that's the reason this kind of complex is known as low spin complex which is only possible if a strong field ligand is associated with the metal ion so therefore this is one of the example and this is nothing but the inner orbital complex and now let me talk about the outer orbital complex so now let me talk about the outer orbital complex that is when complex form involves the outer nd orbitals for hybridization of sp3 d2 then the complex is called to be outer orbital complex and they are also known as hs complex which is known as high spin complex so based on that let me give you an example so friends this is the example that is i'm going to talk about that is this complex we understand that is the fluorine ions they are surrounding the cobalt metal so in that case we also know that is fluorine is a weak field again so in that case basically the hybridization will turn into such a way that is we could get that is the electrons they will not get paired up over here so that's the reason we could get an s orbital we could get p orbital and we could get the last orbital that is n orbital and in that case it is outside the d orbital it's outside it's not inside and that's the reason this is known as outer orbital complex here we see the hybridization is sp3d2 not d2 sp3 and that's the reason this complex is known as outer orbital complex and let me explain it with the help of the energy diagram so friends this is the energy diagram for the cobalt 3 plus ions and suppose if a weak field ligand approaches this cobalt 3 plus ion obviously it will split into two energy level but the thing is we are talking about weak field ligand and that's the reason that the electrons will not get paired up and that is how basically it is different from that of the low spin complex or we could call like strong field complex and this is a small energy level that is what we can find between this two energy level and this kind of complex are known as high spin complex because they are not forming pairing in the lower energy level in fact the electrons are present at the higher energy level also and they are not involved in pairing and that's the reason they are known as high spin complex so this was an example of inner orbital complex as well as the outer orbital complex and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this concept very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much